Welcome to lesson 6. This video is about the DOM, the concepts on the DOM, which is ABS absorption and PNL, which is pulling and stacking. First of all, what is absorption ABS? Absorption occurs when retail traders place a large amount of buy orders right at a bearish level. So for example, this is a bearish level from your volume profile. Price is going up there. On the DOM, you will see that there is a lot of buy orders. And then when there's all of these buy orders that come up to this level, then you un you anticipate a continuation to the upside, right? But however, institutions and like banks and things like that, they recognize this behavior and they use those retail orders to fill their sell positions. So obviously the institutions are stronger than the retail traders. So the retail traders that went long at the high are now trapped. These are trapped sell. These are trapped buyers now. So now price will move quickly against them and it will dump so that is a way that you can confirm your volume profile levels how can you use absorption the first thing you must do to know how to use absorption first of all is identify what your levels are so for example you have a volume profile like this and for example you use this as a shelf right here price is going up you've identified your level now you want to reset your dom about two ticks before it goes to the shelf so look price is going up you refresh your dom because you want to see the interaction between buyers and sellers you don't want all of that data clustered up before so look price goes up you've already refreshed it about two ticks before then you see a lot of opposing orders at your level so the dom is basically indicating that your level is about to get a run through However, the price, but price still rejects this very quickly because, and it starts moving in your direction because there's a lot of institutional sellers that are filling those buy orders and they get trapped the buy orders and then it dumps like that. Another thing that you must understand, right, is that after the pulling, the stacking, and absorption happen, first of all, you need finished and unfinished auctions to happen. You need a finished auction. So, for example, it's like eight, ten. 11 14 6 7 3 2 so let's say the numbers are like this there's nothing at the top there's nothing at the bottom there's like no it's not going like like how the dom usually goes like sideways like that or like that that's how price moves on the dom so this is a unfinished auction a ufa so price will usually sweep this area so price will probably go back up and then go down after it finishes the auction you'll go to the nearest one usually or will go here and then finish it so let's say right here it's a zero then price will probably go down because now it's a finished auction or let's say it's like a three or it's like a i don't know eight or like 15 then this is or it's even on this side then price will just go down so yeah that's how price can go as well you need that's an on that's a finished auction so an fa a finished auction it looks like this it has a three then a two then a nine then four five eight three obviously here it's an unfinished auction so right here it's a unfinished auction a ufa price will have to go here sweep it it'll be like a two and then it'll go back up and whatever price wants to do after that because now it's a finished auction so that's usually what you want your dom to look like you want absorption after a finished auction has happened so you can see here here's a dom with a finished auction right here an fa you can see here on the bottom this is a ufa so you technically want price to go down to sweep that before moving higher and then you can see here that these numbers are lower and you can see here we have the bid delta and the ask delta what you want right is that if price goes to your level let's say for shorts price goes up it goes very fast then loads of buyers step in those buyers let's say here before this one there was let's say 80 and then here it was let's say i don't know 40 and then and these sellers got stepped in and loads of sellers came and then it went back to the buyers and then the buyers got smacked down into one and one here you can see and there's 13 buyers that are trapped and then price goes down and it interacts with this minus six and this minus six goes from let's say minus 18 or minus 25 and it just like keeps on increasing it's it's pulling from 
the bid right and while it's pulling it it's increasing and it's stacking and stacking and when you see the divergence of more sellers than buyers in that one area remember before there was loads of buyers there when price went to that level but now buyers uh, are got absorbed and loads of sellers step in because and then when that absorption happens you want to see pulling and stacking to confirm that absorption you want at least at least three ticks of pulling and stacking in between the absorption so let's say absorption happened here within the first second and third tick you want to see pulling and stacking then after the second to third tick that's when you want to enter your shorts for example when price goes up to your level it goes very fast absorption happens pulling and stacking happens remember you want a finished auction as well this is a finished auction because there's a divergence here there's nothing here there's a zero and then price just dumps look absorption there pulling and stacking within one to three ticks and then price dumps and that's when you enter that's all pulling and stacking is let's say this minus six goes to like let's say minus 18 and then minus 25 and it just keeps on increasing and these market cells hit the bid while they're hitting the bid these number these delta this bid delta is increasing and then so is all these market cells right and then when they're increasing and both of these are increasing claudio for giving me this video this video that he made that i'm just showing you because it's a really good example of absorption is that you can see here there's nothing here right it's basically representing zero so this is a finished auction that means price shouldn't sweep this again unless there's more buyers now let's look for absorption we can see here there's 77 and there's 79 you want these prices to decrease that is what abs is actually like that is what abs is right and then after abs you don't just enter on abs you want to see reactive but you want to see reactive sellers in this case you want sellers to step up here and then you want to see the pulling and the stacking so we can see price goes up and then you see these numbers are decreased but so these numbers are decreased as well you want these numbers to step up now for the shorts to be valid so let's just see if that happens look you can see that immediately the sellers step in that shows reactive selling is happening and all of these buys go absorbed here and then let's see what happens you can see price is dumping but then if i slow down the clip right now you can see here the delta right here 11 look it's it's taking it that's pulling it's pulling from that delta it's stacking the buyers you want the sellers to be stacking watch here's an example of absorption and pulling and stacking you can see here that this is a finished auction and price is at claudio's level in this example so now you want price to go up and reduce these numbers and then you want these numbers to stack if these numbers stack and more sellers step in that means that there's more reactive selling happening in order for that absorption to be effective for the downward continuation that he's trying to play off of. So let's just see if that happens. You can see here the numbers increased, the buyers, so buyers stepped up. Then look, it, it dropped and then look here, it dropped as well from 114 now to 5. So that's 114 minus 5, that's how much got absorbed there. And then you can see these sellers stepped in. Let's see if more sellers step in here look 2 to 52 just stepped in now let's look at the delta the ask delta and the bid delta this is how you can see pulling and stacking more easily so you want the selling to be pulling and stacking so let's just see that happening look in this instance right here if i go bit back on the clip you can see our price three 61.25 the 66 you want to see that delta be pulling in and stacking onto this sell side market so let's just see look it's stacking it just stacked more it stacked more it's ke it kept on stacking in this area so i would have probably entered like around here and now let's just see what price does it continues to stack more and more and more sellers so you can see obviously that there's more sellers on this side than buyers.
So then you can see the immediate drop from this absorption from that pulling and stacking here of the sellers. Obviously, you can have more pulling and stacking, for example, like like these numbers they decrease and then these numbers increase that's what stacking is and then when and then while it's pulling pulling is when th these numbers are increasing and these numbers are increasing and they're both interacting like this and this number is increasing a lot there's a lot of sellers that's happening in this area and compared to buyers that's what pulling is so when absorption happens and when price goes to your level you want to see price slow you want to see price go very fast to your level and slow down here and you want to see loads of buyers here and then you want these buyers to get smacked down and then now there's like barely any buyers here like there's only one and 28 and before there was a lot you can see there was 39 77 101 and now if you go back to that same bit of the clip you can see now there's only one 28 there isn't that much two columns got absorbed there and then you can see the sellers stepped in so that's really what you want to see for more information i'll put in the notion i'll share you with that Cl claudio video that example that you can see from yourself the absorption and the pulling and stacking if you master this and you spam trades and you, when you see a level and you just play demo of that and you see absorption pulling and stacking you'll become a master at the dom like this with this one concept